for storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Temperatures tonight will fall back down into the lower to mid 20s with a clear sky through the evening hours. Temperatures fall very quickly, but the cloud cover will start to return as we head through the night and that allows for at least the chance for some early flurries tomorrow. Late tonight, early in the morning, that's the next round of that chance for some very light snow shower activity or flurries that will not last very long at all. Actually, by late in the day, we may even be cleared out and a lot of sunshine ahead for Saturday. Looking ahead, could see some midweek showers. There's actually a slight chance on Sunday even with some more clouds that will move through. But overall, we're looking at a fairly quiet weather pattern with some ups and downs in the temperature. Quiet evening in Mayetta as well as in Manhattan. Lots of sunshine all through the day today. Mostly clear sky at Lawrence. We really haven't even had any significant amount of cloud cover. There's been a few clouds out there, but nothing too widespread. As we remain mainly clear in Topeka, the current temperature right now sits at 39 degrees. It is dry. The dew point's at 13, and dry air cools off rapidly. So when the sun goes down with the sky that clear, it will get very chilly quickly through the evening hours when the wind stays very light. 15 this morning, high temperature of 39 degrees, so pretty big spread on temperature as we warmed up rapidly through the day with the sunshine even into the lower 40s west. 40 right now at Concordia, still 42 at Junction City in Manhattan, 37 at Burlington, 37 at McLeod and Hiawatha as well. The winds light and variable, but should take on a light southerly direction tonight. And as we head into the day tomorrow, those southerly and southeasterly winds become very light in the morning and then start to pick up to about 5 or 10 miles per hour out of the northwest tomorrow afternoon as the system moves on out. And we'll get rid of the cloud cover that rolls in tonight. So this is not going to be days and days worth of clouds ahead of us. It's a quick passing system that will be bringing us not only clouds in, you notice a few scattered snow showers up over the western part of Nebraska and South Dakota. A few of those could come our way as well. Main storm system that we had this week exits farther away to the east. And in the wake of that comes some cloud cover, maybe a little band of some light snow showers or even some flurries for some. That'll move on through and we start to clear out as we head into the late afternoon hours on Friday. Should be mainly clear as we head into Saturday. Lots of sunshine once again. Tonight down to 24 degrees, light and variable on the wind as the cloud cover builds in and a high of 40 tomorrow. Cloudy in the morning, but decreasing clouds as the day goes on and the wind shifting to the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour by the end of the day tomorrow. As far as the cloud cover is concerned, after it moves out, we actually see very little of it around on Saturday, and we warm up at least into the middle 40s. Saturday looks to be, for February standards, a really pleasant day. Not too windy, cool, but not terribly cold. Sunday a little bit warmer, but a slight chance for a few showers and more clouds around. Some of those clouds into Monday as well. Then we'll briefly clear out on Tuesday before our next system comes in Tuesday night into Wednesday for a chance for a few more showers. And after that system passes by Wednesday night into Thursday, fairly strong cold front looks to come through the area with high temperatures back down in the lower 30s for Thursday. So a little bit above normal at times and below normal at times. Normal for this time of year average is lower 40s. So we're kind of just wobbling around in that area that you'd expect to have for this time of year. But we do squeak out a few nice days like we saw today. Should have another one very similar on Saturday. Yeah.